fans as we return to PCW Full Throttle. What a night this is. Once again, Rob Moore with Richard Hill at ringside. And of course, tonight we see all the fallout from Genocide. What an outstanding card that was. And we had a packed, and I mean packed house last week. Rob, I am excited tonight. PCW's first ever fallout match where we find out who will face the PCW World Champion at Capital Punishment. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. From Shreveport, Louisiana, the fire, Jeremy Young. This man has been everywhere you can go in professional wrestling. He has taken on the best overseas, domestically, you name it. He's been there, the fire, Jeremy Young. But Rob Moore tonight, he's going to face the captain of Great State University's wrestling team himself, Jerry Brown, former PCW World Tag Team Champion. And there he is, fans, letter jacket and all. The very technically sound Jerry Brown on his way in. And his opponent from Great State University, he is one half of the Blue Chippers, Jerry Brown. But Richard, as you said, these are two tremendous athletes. We talk about Jerry Brown being the captain of the wrestling team at Great State University. Let's not lose sight of the fact that Jeremy Young himself is a two-year state high school wrestling champion in Louisiana. So we ought to see a lot of great technical wrestling like that arm drag by Young. And I know you're a big fan of Jeremy Young's teacher in pro wrestling, Dr. Depp, Steve Williams. Absolutely. Jeremy Young, he's made trips over to the WWE. He's made trips to Japan, Puerto Rico, you name it. In fact, Jeremy Young, the victim there of an airplane, or rather a fireman's carry, and now a hip toss, and now another hip toss by Jerry Brown at a flying drop kick. That not, that's not quite an amateur wrestling move, but he certainly knows the professional style just as well as the amateur. Now, I gotta tell you this, Rob, I think that there's a big advantage for Jerry Brown and Jeremy Young tonight. I know they're both in the PCW fallout match later tonight. They've got the first match on the card, so they've got time to rest up after this in preparation for their world title shot at PCW's Capital Punishment. That's right, the big fallout match, big main event coming up later tonight here on PCW Full Throttle. Jerry Brown, Jeremy Young, among the many competitors, all looking for a shot at Tim Storm's belt, his world title belt, coming up in just a matter of weeks at Capital Punishment. And we see Jeremy Young now laying in the right hands and now just oh. yanking him backwards on the top of his head. That rung Jerry's bell. You see him blinking there. He's trying to figure out where he's at right now. And a hard right hand there by Jeremy Young. The fire taking care of business with a body slam on the man from Great State University and Young driving in a knee. Jerry's a little bit shorter than, than uh, Jeremy, but there's a lot of mass on that body. He's a pro wrestler. He is a professional wrestler, ladies and gentlemen. He stays low the mat. He gets you off balance. He's got low center of gravity. He's hard to pick up. That's a lot of power by the fire. In fact, there is a four-inch height difference between Jerry Brown and Jeremy Young, but it is Jeremy Young who also has a bit of an experience as far as, a bit of an edge, rather, as far as experience in professional wrestling, some eight years in the business. Jerry Brown's been around, though, primarily as a tag team wrestler, though. Let's see if he can get it done here in the singles competition. And I'll tell you what, Jerry Brown would be a heck of a, a PCW Cruiserweight champion, I think. But how would you see him and Jiggle James Johnson go at it? That would be an outstanding match, Richard, and I think the fans would love seeing a match like that. And speaking of the Cruiserweights, of course, last week at Genocide, Gigolo taking the belt and some hair from Robert Evans. But as I understand it, uh, I, I don't know, Robert Evans didn't quite live up to the to, to this very spirit of the stipulation. Well, I saw Robert Evans in the back. He's He's got hair. I well, thought, I mean, I know that I saw some cutting going on, but uh, Evans is walking around like he hasn't lost a thing. Well, I'm not so sure about that. We'll have to see when he comes out for a tag team match later tonight, a PCW Dream Partner match, and that's going to be something to see. That's hey, right. on the way later tonight. Look at this, Jeremy Young on top with a cover, only a two. Right now, we need to pay attention. Jerry uh, Brown's knee looks to get blown out there by Jeremy Young. He seems to be working over real hard. Jeremy Young focusing on a single body part as now he gives him an Irish whip, comes off the ropes right into a spinning oh, back elbow. Very nice. And now it is Jeremy Young on top with a cover, pulling back on the leg and only a two count. Hey, also a genocide, Rob. How about that world title match, Mace Malone, Tim Storm? I don't think we can talk enough about that. Did you see Mace Malone come off the top rope with that frog splash? Man, I certainly did. Shades of the le late legendary Eddie Guerrero as Malone could have put the, the champion, Tim Storm, away. But circumstances happened. The referee was knocked out for a time, and it ended up with Tim Storm needing not one, but two perfect storms to put Mace Malone away. Jeremy Young working over that leg once again. I tell you what, 
look for him in that fallout match to go a long ways. I don't know what number he's going to draw to come out, but this guy is challenged for the oh, PCW World title. He could be going uh, over right now. Up and over with a sunset flip. Jeremy Young finally goes he's down. Got one, him. two, oh. and oh my gosh, only a two. I thought Jerry had him right there. Look at that clothesline. Big clothesline there from the fire, Jeremy Young. And Jeremy Young, of course, the consummate professional. He has seen and done most of the tricks you could possibly think of in this wrestling business, certainly under the tutelage of Dr. Death. But look at this. Jerry, uh, Jerry Brown pulling down on the leg. One, two. He snagged two. on that leg. He's tenacious like a little bulldog. Once he had hold of it, he wasn't letting go until he pulled Jeremy down. And now Jeremy Young has him hooked up for a suplex, but look at that. Inside cradle by Jerry Brown, too, only two. Very close, very close. Wrestling background right there. That's why he's the captain of the team. That's right, two men with strong technical backgrounds, strong professional backgrounds as well. Some knife edge chops being thrown in there by Jeremy Young. And now it's Jerry Brown turning it around and going to work on Jeremy Young in the corner now with an Irish whip, a reversal, and Jerry Brown up in the air. Oh, no. Oh, he anticipated Jeremy being a little closer, but look, oh, oh my gosh, God. That, that dangerous backdrop that he learned from Dr. Death, Steve Williams, and I think that's going to be it for Jerry Brown, and it is. Jerry got dumped right on the back of his neck. Man, oh man. Your winner, the fire, Jeremy Young. I've seen Dr. Death Steve Williams nearly break Kenta Kabashi's neck in All Japan Pro Wrestling, and now we nearly saw the same thing with Jeremy Young and Jerry Brown. Well, and some more action still to come, but I understand that Jeremy Young has got a few words to say. I don't think anybody here is interested in anything that Jeremy Young's going to have to say, Rob. But I know coming up next, we've got Mace Malone defend the PCW television title against Brandon Collins. Absolutely. Mace Malone shifting gears this week from challenger to champion, putting that television belt on the line against one member of the elite. And fans, the fans here at PCW Arena are really letting Jeremy Young have it. Once again, Jeremy and Jeff Bra uh, Jerry Brown, rather, they're going to be in that PCW fallout match later on tonight. Stay tuned, folks.